The 2017 NBA Finals are just a few days away, but there's something from the 2016 NBA Finals that still haunts Steph Curry. Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. To keep up with all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe. All right, game seven of the NBA Finals 2016. Now, I'm sure there are many, many things that several members of the Warriors like to forget. But in this particular case, Steph is remembering something most of us have forgotten. The Warriors were up by one point in the fourth, 87 to 86. Curry brought the ball up the floor. Kyrie Irving got on him like white on rice, giving him zero room to breathe. Then Steph threw a behind the back pass to Klay Thompson, which didn't come close to connecting and resulted in a turnover. Steph said, I know it wasn't a good pass. Now, from that point on, the Warriors seemed to unravel, scoring just two points on one of 10 shooting with seven misses from three-point range over the final five minutes. The Cavaliers wound up completing their three-in-one series comeback, taking the W 93-89 to to become champs for the first time in franchise history. Now, it seems like Steph is blaming himself. What do you guys think? Drop a comment right now and let me know if you think Steph should be taking the blame for that. Because I don't. The game was a team L. There's not just one person that can be blamed. All right, Steph went on and said, I still think about that turnover. But in thinking about that game, it's funny because I know the concept of making the right play, making a simple play, understanding that there are deciding moments in games and the difference between winning a championship or not could be one of those plays. With that said, I came out in preseason this year and threw a behind the back pass because I have confidence that I can do it and it won't change that. Now in the same ESPN interview, Interview, Steph was asked about his thoughts on the MVP race, if he wanted it to be him, etc. And he said, I don't need that kind of validation to know what my role is on the team and how I can help my team win. And being in a situation where we're playing for championships now. So that's the biggest thing. Ooh. Do any of you out there think Steph should be MVP this year? If so, speak now in the comments below. For all things sports, make sure to hit subscribe before you go. Tap that fumble logo right there and I'll see you soon.